Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? It's Light Over Darkness 33, and I miss you guys. How are you doing, my angels? I hope you're doing great. I hope life has been treating you well. I hope you've been listening to my videos and applying them to your life. Tonight, the word that I got from God was, you can do it. You can do it. So, let's get into the video. First thing that we're going to do is our breathing exercise. It came to me also that we need to keep practicing our breathing. So we're going to start from our nose, breathe out through our mouth. Let's do it seven times on here. Now let's say some affirmations. I am well. I am happy. I am loved. I am joyful. I am kind. I am healed. I am well. Yay! Okay. Now let's get into the video. Um, what I've been meditating and hearing through my meditation is that we need to start saying more positive things about ourselves. And we need to believe those things. So if you say it out your mouth enough and you say it and you believe it with all your heart, not something that you want to do, but something that you become, that you are. Let's do that. Um, healing. Healing is important. Sometimes, I'm just going to tell you just like it is. Sometimes we create our own illnesses because we want sympathy from those that are around us or because we're worried about situations or because we put ourselves in places that we have no business being. So you have to think of yourself as your most worthiest possession. You are the most worthiest possession you have. You are valuable. You are important to yourself. If you see yourself doing that, then guess what? Everybody else will see it too because it will shine out of you. Let the light within shine out. We're all born with the light inside of us. The light is our mind. We have a light inside our mind. If you close your eyes and look upward with your eyes, you will visualize better. You will meditate better. Because if you're looking up, you're looking to the chambers here for your third eye. And if you activate that, oh, you'll be magnificent. So, I want you to know that there's nothing you cannot do that is inside of you to do. What We have talked before about 
what's inside of you that you were born to do. When you were born, when I was born, we each came here with a purpose. We didn't come down here just to live and work for somebody and that. That's not the plan. <laughs> Even though a lot of people have done it. And a lot of people feel that that's the only way they can live. It's not true. There's greatness within you. And if there's greatness within you, then you can do it. So, say for instance, um, your passion. You have a passion. You love to cook. Never had a cookbook that you read and you used all the time. You just put it together and, man, it came out great. I do that sometimes. Um, my husband says, wow, what did you cook? How did you do this? And it's just something within me that says, okay, I'm going to put this, put that, put this. And it comes out great. Um, some people love to draw. And they either become uh, artists. Um, some become um, architects. Some become fashion uh uh, creators, clothing, and things like that. See, one gift can go many directions. If you're an actor or an actress, you could become a producer. You could become an editor. You can become anything in that industry. Because what? You have that gift within you that you want to portray. And if you can portray it, you can create it. So we have to start using our powers as creators. You are a creator, and I'm a creator. You create your own happiness. Whatever you don't want in your life, don't accept it. Just to say, you have this, or you have that. If you don't want it, Go try it. Try a different way to get what you want in life. Never, ever, 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 do something you don't like doing. You'll be miserable. And then you'll be miserable to the people around you. You can be better. You can do better. You don't have to accept the least because you're not the least. You don't have to do things you don't want to do against your will. You have free will. That's your will. It's nobody else's will but yours. Everybody has their own individual wish will. Let your will work for you. Let it work for you. Whatever you're good at. I know what my will is. And I'm going to get to it. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do when I was 13 years old. I wanted to be a writer. I was going to write books. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take this time where I'm... Um, available, not on any time set of anyone else's, and do what God has put in my mind to do. Now, he has told me many things about you guys being my audience. And he's told me that you guys are really trying hard to manifest. And I want you to know that you don't have to try hard to manifest. I want you to know that manifestation is easy. Mine works particularly in a weird way when I'm angry. <laughs> when somebody's pissed me off and I want to change that situation, I will 
walk the parameters of my living room around like I'm stomping around a gate or whatever it is that's in the middle that's bothering me. I'll walk around and I'll start to speaking those things that be not as though they were. I'll start saying what I want to do and what I will not say is what I don't want. Because when you start saying what you don't want, that goes out into the ether, which is the air. And once that thing gets out your mouth, it becomes a thing. So now you have the don't want with the want. I'm going to tell you something. One time I was so disgusted with the place that I was staying at. And one day, I turned on Ralph Smart. Shout out to Ralph Smart. <laughs> and he was talking. And I started feeling what Ralph was saying. And I turned Ralph off and I got in my living room. And I stomped around and I said, I appreciate this place, but it is not within the realms of my desires. I appreciate this place and I'm ready to move forward. I appreciate this place and I'm ready to have better. I'm ready to have privacy. I'm ready to have a, a, a larger space. And guess what happened? Three days. It happened. Three days. I moved. Into a, a better place. Now. I'm ready to expand again. Because I've been here. For about three years. And I'm ready to expand to a larger place. I need more space. See that's, that's another key point. Oh this is a good one. Here's a key point. When God, universe, source, is ready for you, which is inside of you, because you're a star seed and God is inside of us. That's why you can hear him. When he's ready for you to be blessed out of one situation into a better place, a better situation, better car, better job, better whatever, he'll allow place you're in, the job you're at, the person you're with, to get on your last nerve. So much to the point where your comfortability is no longer there. Your peace in that spot is no longer there. And you're ready to get better, to have better, I'm turning this up a little bit, to have better, and when you have that, then that's when you'll start really getting serious, I don't know about some of you all have been maybe raised up in uh, Pentecostal or sanctified churches, but there was a thing we used to do, and it was called uh, Terry. And the way we would tarry, we would say, thank you, Jesus, over and over and over and over and over until we felt the spirit of God inside of us. And then we let it out one way or another. It, you need to cry it out, shout it out, scream it out, but it would come out. And at that point, you were what they would say, say and in that point, you would change your life to accommodate being saved. Now, when God get ready to bless you out of your situation, he'll make it so uncomfortable for you that you can't stand to be there. That you just want to get out. So you'll, you will fall in line. Your precepts will be upon his precepts. And you will want to go, whether you loved it or not. And then guess what? 
you'll get to a better situation. It'll be a better situation. It'll be better for you because God knows. This is getting on my nerves. <laughs> God knows that he has something better for you. What God has for you, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what he has for you. What God wants for you, you haven't even thought about yet. You haven't even realized yet. You have to know that you know that you know it is God in your heart. And you know his voice. Because just like a sheep knows the voice of the shepherd, they know God's voice. You know God's voice. Sometimes you're going to have to just move. And he'll provide. God is a provider. Provider. You can do it. Sometimes you just have to accept a, a larger position. You may have to travel. You may have to just uh, write more. You may have to type faster. You may have to have your own office. But God is a provider. And you can do it. Sometimes he'll take you out of a position altogether, and it'll be something different than what you ever had. But he knows what's best for you. And if he knows what's best for you, it's better for you to release yourself. Just let go of the reins and let God take care of you. It may be scary, but don't be scared. He knows what's best for you. You may have to move to a different state, like I did, but he knows what's best for you. God is doing a great thing in your life. God is doing wonderful things in the world these days. You just have to stay focused and keep your mind away from negative traps, from entities that seek to take your mind off of progressing. Keep your mind and your eyes, which are, which are the windows to your mind, on things that can benefit you. Stop looking at the stuff that makes you argue, makes you mad. If you read a post, and I'm not going to say well, <laughs> if you read a post, and that post makes you angry just by looking at it, don't click the link. If you see, see a post by somebody, and they're always going off there's a little trick you can do which i do often <laughs> you can put people in time out for 30 days by that time they'll calm down they're back to themselves and i know because some back in the day i used to be ranting and raving but you know what i really miss i really miss the days where before we had that kind of interaction, it was like we just would send emails or we would send texts, but it would be between the two of us and nobody else could get a hold of it. See, what happened is people came so nosy <laughs> and want to get at people's stuff so bad that they created ways for that to happen. I even heard about some somebody's <laughs> when I say it, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. Somebody's um cell phone, they had deleted a message. They were in the middle of a situation, and she deleted her emails, her texts. 
to her co-worker and he deleted his and thought it wouldn't be heard. But guess what? The court got a hold of everything they had said. So we have to be cautious and careful of what we type and what we say because our words can come back to bite us. And we can do that too. I don't see anything that you guys want to do that you can't. I don't see anything in my mind's eye that God will not give you because you're his children. You're made from his image. You want to see God? Look in the mirror. We're made from his image. We look like him. White, black, red, whatever color we are, according to how the sun made us, we're all in God's image. And lastly, do your vision boards. Do your vision boards. I want you to think of everything exactly how you want it. We talked about this. I said, if you want a car, go to the car lot where the car is at. Test drive that car. Feel the energy of that car. You want a house? Go to that specific house. Tour it. Tour the house. Feel the energy of the house. So much so, when you go home, honey, and you pray, and you close your eyes, and you've done your breathing exercise, and you're meditating, you can feel the energy of that house. You can feel the energy of that car. Energy is important. Energy makes things happen. Like I told you, I got so angry with where I was. The energy of that anger stirred up with the will of God and it happened. Manifested. Money has been manifested. So, I guess that's about it that I have for you guys today. I hope you've gotten some out of it. I try not to be boring. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you from depths of my heart, with my mind, and with my soul. I love you, love you, love you. I love you so much. I'm going to try to think of another name for you guys. Since I'm Light Over Darkness 33, um, I'll find it. I'll, I'll find it. If you have some suggestions, I'll take them and into consideration and then pray over it and see what we come up with. But I really want you guys to be my tribe, my peeps. Stick with me and grow as I grow on this YouTube. Like I said, I've been an evangelist since I was nine years old. But this is a different platform for me because I'm used to being in front of people and feeling their energies and their energies combining with my energy and then the word of God coming into me for them. This way, I'm not really seeing you guys. I'm just imagining who's out there and then God will tell me something for somebody in particular. Um, so that being said, you guys have a nice evening, and until next time, may the light over the darkness in your life always, always shine brighter and create within you your true self. Have a good evening. Bye.